Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you are doing well today. Thank you for all the beautiful likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, the donations to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and well received more than you will ever know. So, Pisces. What I need for you to do right now is I need for you to give me all that fun, loving, exuberant, beautiful energy that you got. You can do that by clicking that like button. You can comment. You can share. You can subscribe. You can just do all those beautiful, lovely, magical things that you do to me so well here at Tally's Tarot. So, I'm going to slap down the holy water. The holidays are over. Tax season is around the corner. Well, I mean, I guess we got New Year's Eve. And I will be uh, photographing the uh, New Year's Eve sold-out show of Ruby Lee, of course. <laughs> As always. So, do you know what time it is? <laughs> Tarot is now in session. The most honorable judge, T.T. T. Dong, presiding. Yeah. You can all do whatever you want today. So, we're going to check in on the energy of that person you're dealing with or whatever energy might be approaching you, my beautiful loves. Whatever the case is, we're going to get it, we're going to hit it, and we're going to put it together like we always do, baby. Yeah, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. I survived Christmas Eve and Christmas. I can't believe it. Thank God. It's nice, because I didn't, I didn't see anybody. <laughs> I didn't see a single soul. Oh, well, no, that's... I went, did go out uh, Christmas Eve with my friends uh, Dave and Donna for dinner. Yeah, but other than that, nope. That's about it. I hung out with the kitties. And uh, I talked to you guys. Mm -hmm. yep. That's a beautiful thing, too. Show me the energy of the person my you. Okay. Three of Cups. Show me the energy of the person might be you. Okay. Ten Cups. Wow. Ooh. Show me the energy of the person might be you. Okay, right on. Eight of Pentacles. We're going to grab one more. Show me the energy of the person might... Okay. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, we got some swords. Eight of them. It wasn't like that one reading. Did you guys watch that one reading where I had like 36 swords in the reading? <laughs> that was insane. Three cups, ten cups, eight pen, eight swords. The overall energy for the reading here is the ace of cups. Okay, so some of these got some love on the brain. Isn't that a song? Who does that song? Isn't that a song? That's a song. Love on the brain. I love on the brain. Something. What is that song? Who is that? I don't know. Love on the rain. I don't know what that is. I'm getting a song. Okay. Three cups. This is all about getting together, going out, having a good old merry lollygagging time, uh, and celebrating here. Okay. Celebrate. And it's a card, you know, of communication too. Because when you're going out, you're communicating. Usually threes are all about communication here. Okay. And it's also a card of pregnancy. We've got ten cups. Okay. This is, you know, you're happy, you're in a relationship, uh, you know, you don't have a lot of money, but you have each other, okay. We got Eight of Pentacles, this is a card of the Craftsman, being very skilled at what you are doing here, alright, it's a card of working here, working towards your Nine of Pentacles to get to your what? Retirement. Ten pens, baby. Eight swords. There's your person down here on the table. Uh, they put on a red dress, tied themselves up in some bondage here. And now they're standing by the murky water here. And it's like they're basically it's a card of being in a self-imposed a prison. You don't know what to do. So you don't do anything at all. And then you just sit there and you think. Oh, no. So... 
I guess we're going to talk to those eight swords. See why these, what this person's overthinking here. What's going on? What's this person overthinking today? Okay, what's going on? Top to bottom. Let's shake it down a little bit better than that. Eight swords. What was that? Did you guys hear that? What are they overthinking here? Time is on my side. Okay. They're thinking here. Let's go one more eight swords of the Wheel of Fortune. And then I'll continue to open up my pie hole. Mm -hmm. Eight swords to the Wheel of Fortune for what they're overthinking. What's the eight swords to the Wheel of Fortune for what this energy is overthinking? What are they? Hold on a second. Card three down, three down here. Okay. They're like, oh, wow. So they're overthinking how they're going to tell you they're in love with you here. Okay. Is it time? Is it time? Is it time that I tell Pisces that I'm in love with Pisces? I don't know. Should, should I wait till tomorrow? Should I wait for a month from now? Should I wait for a year? Should I do it tomorrow? Should I do it when I see Pisces? Should I, should I go to Pisces' uh, job and confess my love? So right now, basically, this person here is waiting to tell you they're in love with you here. It's a love confession here. Oh boy, but however, this person is very conflicted about it here with the Five of Wands here. So, they're really struggling here on uh, what is the perfect time. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now, Cross Watcher, uh, now is the perfect time to go and tell Pisces. Maybe, they're per maybe this person is like waiting for New Year's Eve. And they're going to tell you on New Year's Eve, which is kind of... You know, cheesy, but romantic, you know. I mean, I don't know. It just depends on what you want. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. There's good energy on the table, though. Nothing bad here so far. <laughs> All right, so what's going on with the Three of Cups? What's going on with this Three of Cups and Pisces person's energy, please? What's going on with these Three of Cups? Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Somebody. I feel like somebody is really hoping to see you here. Okay. I'm going to get one more with the start of the Three of Cups. Start of the Three of Cups. What's going on here? Start of the Three of Cups. Yeah. Somebody here is really hoping to see you and change something here. They want some kind of change. Uh, what, 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 what change is this person hoping for? What change is this person hoping for? Okay. All right. And they're hoping to get their head out of the clouds. Okay. Somebody doesn't want to fantasize about this no more. No. Mm -mm. This person is really hoping to stop. They don't want to fantasize anymore. They want to see you and they want, they want to tell you they're in love with you here. So this person basically has been fantasizing quite a bit about you and they don't want to fantasize. They want to bring their fantasy into reality here so they might be trying to somebody might be trying to manifest you here at this time pisces manifest a love like you into their life okay is literally what i'm getting and this is this could be a new energy i'm not getting any old energy here okay somebody you already know here maybe that you work with that's been interested here in you maybe they're gonna you guys are going to have a New Year's Eve party for the work, and that's when they're going to break it to you. And you're going to be like, what? That'd be kind of shocking, wouldn't it? I'd freak out if somebody at my job told me that they were in love with me. I'd be like, oh, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, no, I would not want that at all. That would be... I've had somebody drive to my job and tell me that they were in love with me, and I was like, um, yeah, uh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that an awful response? I'm in love with you, Talia. Oh, uh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> oh, the card. Did you really do that? I did. I did. I certainly did. I had another guy at one of my jobs, too, came to my job, told me he was in love with me, and I was like, uh, yeah, dude, I'm not really in love with you. And then he freaked out and he jumped over the counter and like was like crying and begging. And then he got violent. We had to call the cops. And then later on, I'll tell you what happened. That day, listen to this story. Later on that night, I go back to my house. 
and this guy shows up at my house. And he's crying and he's angry. And I'm like, dude, I'm just not like in love with you. I'm like, you need to leave right now. And it starts raining, right? It starts raining. So then my neighbor comes out and he's like, are you okay, T? Uh, he's like, what's this guy? What's this guy's problem? I was like, he won't leave. And he was like, I'm not leaving. And he just got real violent. And then the next thing you know, my neighbor, he's really good looking. He took his shirt off. Okay, literally, it sounds like not. This is a real story. This is so it's raining outside. So this, my neighbor takes his shirt off, throws it down. The other guy that is in love with me takes his shirt off, throws it down, and then there's two dudes that are fighting each other. Okay, like for me, right? The one guy that's in love with me. Um, he's, he's fighting with his shirt off. The other guy, he's not in love with me, but he's my neighbor and he's really hot. And they're like, and I'm just sitting there like, uh, it was like, and their hair was whipping and it was wet. And I am not joking. This is a real story. I, I, I can't make this shit up. I mean, I was like, and I'm just sitting there. I was like 20, how old was I? About 24 years old, 23 years old. Yeah. And I was just like. Oh, this is great. I, I thought it, it reminded me of like a movie, you know, when two dudes, they take off their shirts and they start battling for a girl in the rain. And I'm like, this is great. <laughs> so anyway, enough about my story. So this could happen. Um, hopefully you don't have that one that you don't really like that professes their love to you. I feel sorry for you then. <laughs> oh, I got some stories, guys. I mean, I really do. You wouldn't believe I've got a lot of stories. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so evil. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, it's so horrible. But yeah, I ended up having to get a restraining order against that kid. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So what's going on here? Eight pens. <laughs> Eight pentacles. <laughs> I got it in my mind. It's burned in my mind forever. And I'm evil laughing because it brings me so much joy. <laughs> Okay, well, somebody might be taking a break from work right now. Let's go Eight Pentacles with the Eight of Cups. What's going on here? Yeah, somebody right now, uh, this person here is taking a break, okay? So they're not, uh, they're taking a break from work right now. So maybe this person has gone on vacation here, okay? All right. If we get nine cups down here on the table, this is going to be an awesome reading. Because I already got seven, eight, and then I'm missing nine. I already got the ten cups. But anyway, enough about that. So right now, your person I should strongly coming through that they're taking a break here. They went on break here, okay? They went on vacation here. They're taking a holiday. Okay, so that wanted to come through in on the reading. Okay, so it literally could be somebody here at your work. Okay, so what's going on with the ten cups? Ouch. Okay, knight of wands. Okay, let's go. Ten cups with the Knight of Wands. Mm. What's going on here? Anyway. Ten cups with the Knight of Wands. To the High Priestess here. Oh, jeez, Pisces. Mm. I feel like somebody... Somebody here wants to share a secret with you here. What is the secret this person wants to share here about this Ten Cups? What is the secret this person wants to share about these Ten Cups? What is the secret this person wants to share about these... My deck's getting a little weird back here. Hold on a second, guys. I don't know what's going on. All right. What's this person... What's the secret this person wants to share about these Ten Cups? What is this secret this person wants to share here about these Ten Cups? What is this here? Okay. That they have gotten a person... A, a, a point of view here on these Ten Cups. So what is their perspective here on this Ten Cups and this Knight of Wands? What is their point of view here with the Ten Cups and the Knight of Wands here? Okay, well, seems like they're conflicted here about what their idea of Ten Cups is. Oh, jeez. Oh, good Lord. So what is their point of view about what ten, uh, what ten Cups is? What is Ten Cups to this person? Okay, relationships are a problem, though. Literally. Hey, guys. No fighting. Kitty boom boom. 
All right, I had to chuck them. She's always violent anyway. She's always violent. So, oh God, yeah, this is... Pfft. So they want to share their love here with you, but they don't want to, like, have a serious relationship. Wah, 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 wah. I feel like I need one of those red buzzers. Buzzer, those red buttons, and I push it, and then the table opens, and then, like... All the cards just fall to the ground and shut and then go away. And it's like uh, like a sh game show. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're like, oh, this person sucks. Push the buzzer. The cards go. And then the table just is naked again. <laughs> That's what I feel like. I literally feel like that just should have happened. <laughs> oh, the card. That's a great idea. Thanks, Judge. Thanks. All right. I'm going to get the final messages. And then we're going to talk to Alice. I don't even know what I, I don't even care what this person has to say. Do you? No. Yeah, they're really not too excited about relationships, but boy, are they attracted to you. And they got feelings for you, but relationships? Oh, no, Pisces. No. Pisces, I've been watching you a lot at work. And I've been trying to figure out the right time to tell you that I am in love with you, my beautiful Pisces. So I'm hoping we can get together and I can see you. But I have taken break from work, so I will not be at work. I will be on the wall with beach with scepter and crown hanging out. But when I return back, I plan on telling you that I love you. But please don't ask me for commitment. I just don't like committed relationships at all, my beautiful Pisces. Well, if you don't like a committed relationship, then why do you even want to tell me that you're in love with me? My beautiful Pisces, please. You're very attractive energy and I cannot resist you. Well, I just don't go with anybody that doesn't want to be serious about me. But you must, you must, my beautiful Pisces, I love you. I mean, I mean, I love you and I, I, I'm sorry I can't give you... I don't really care. You know, you can just go find some other walrus somewhere else, Sir Walrus. I am, I hold my head above water, and I am much more better than, I'm not some low hanging fruit, okay? You hear me? I've had about enough of you, Sir Walrus. Oh, my beautiful glasses, no, no. They never come out together. This is like the second time that's happened. Oh, Sir Walrus. Oh, Tales of Jerk.